for imaging of the intercondylar fossa or the tunnel view, we have three options. You can either do the Holmblad, the Camp Coventry, or the Beclair method. Now, I'm going to show you the Holmblad method first. And I, I have put the IR underneath the knee and I have marked it. The next part is, is somewhat difficult for the patient. That's why I like to have everything set up ahead of time because once the patient gets into position they're not going to be able to hold this long if they're having any pain in their knee. So now I'm going to have the patient get into a kneeling position. Okay, and I'm going to adjust the IR in the central ray so that it is centered because it's really easy for the IR to slide when the patient moves into this position. Okay, now I'm going to have the patient move back with their legs and when you look at this point or the degree of the leg, we're about at a 90 degree angle between the femur and the tib fib and what we need to do is get this femur out of the way in order to get to this tunnel area better. So I'm going to have her lean forward just a little. Okay, and what that did was move the femur out of the way so I can access this tunnel portion. Okay, so leaning slightly forward changed it about 20 degrees with the femur. So in this position, this is how we would do the Holmblad method. Okay, you can relax down prone. Next, I'm going to do the Camp Coventry method. With the Camp Coventry method, I'm going to have a 40 degree caudal angle on my tube. And the central ray is also going to enter at the bend of the knee. Now I'm going to bend this tibia fibula up in the air or rise this portion up. Actually we're bending at the knee but the tibia fibula is going to be, the surface is going to be parallel with the surface of the face of the x-ray tube. So the angle of the tibia fibula with the IR is approximately at a 40 degree angle the same as the x-ray tube. But we're going to enter at the bend of the knee. I'm just going to adjust the IR so that we do, we are going to have the tunnel centered on the IR. So this is the Camp Coventry method. Now if the patient cannot hold their leg in this position, then you are going to have to get something for them to, to stabilize their leg if they cannot hold this position. Okay, so this was our second option for the tunnel view. Next, I'm going to show you the Beclair method, and I'm going to ask the patient to turn over supine. So turn over onto your back. Okay, and scoot a little bit to your left. Okay. Now, with this method, we're going to have the patient bend the knee up, so I'm going to have this knee bent up and it's not going to be quite at the 90 degree angle. Okay, and then we're going to prop the IR underneath the leg. so that we can have the IR close, as close as possible to the leg. Because otherwise, you'll have a lot of magnification. So go ahead and build up the IR to the leg. Okay, your central ray is gonna enter in a half inch below the apex of the patella. Now you want to double check and make sure that your transverse line is being seen on the IR because whenever you have to angle the tube, it is easy 
to especially angle it so that it's projected off and we don't want to do that. Okay, I have approximately a 30 degree angle on my tube at this time and you want to check that the surface of the tibia fibula is parallel with the face of the x-ray tube. And oftentimes this angle can vary from 30 to 40 degrees. Okay, but you want to enter at this point and then the tunnel will pre be projected on the IR. Now our next method is for the patella and I'm going to do the set of gas method. So I'm going to have the patient bend their knee up again. Okay, and then I'm going to have a tube angle where it is angling up so that we're having a tangential projection. So we're just skimming the very top of the knee because we're only interested in the patella. Okay, and a lot of times if the patient condition permits, they can hold this IR into place. So I'm going to let my patient hold on to this. Okay, we want to have the surface of our IR parallel with the front surface of the x-ray tube. And then you can just collimate down small just so that we're including the patella. Place your marker so that it is showing up in the light field. So this is the set of gas method for the patella. Well, I'm going to show you an alternate set of gas method with the patient prone. So I'm going to ask our patient to turn over onto their stomach. Okay, and then scoot towards me a little bit. I'm going to place the IR underneath the leg. And I'm going to have approximately 10, 15 degree angle on my tube. And this is angling up cephalic. I'm going to bend the knee up. And once you have it, this 90 degree angle, I'm going to bend it slightly beyond that so that we can skim the very edge of the knee to include the patella. So place your marker in the corner of the light field there. And this is the prone version of the set of gas method.